hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will work on our stage 2 and stage 3 or you can say map 1 and map 2 so for that what we're gonna do is click on prefabs let me now delete this heading and that okay click on map actually click on scene open up map 1 from the map 1 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on prefab and duplicate or you can say make a prefab of the main camera the player characters, the opponent characters, and the canvas. Okay, make sure that you make prefabs of this one, two, three, four things. Okay, when you make that, then click on scene, open up map two, then open up prefabs. Now, you can delete the main camera from here now and drag and drop this main camera. Okay, where is it? okay it is set up on this side okay when you add the main camera let's move it at the top then after the main camera drag and drop the player characters then the opponent character as you can see they are already setting up in their places then drag and drop the canvas that is all you have to do then click on main camera in the main camera you will notice that the targets are removed so I'm gonna add Eddie there, then Oreg there, and then King. Make sure that you add all of your players to the main camera. When you do that, then click on player character. As you can see, it is already added, but if you click on Eddie, Oreg, and King, select all of them. In all of them, as you can see, the opponents are missing now, and also the health bar. So I'm gonna open up opponents and drag and drop. Jin Kazama transform in there and Lee in there and also the player health bar so I'm gonna open up the canvas and drag and drop the player health bar make sure that you do this in all of your players then if you select both of your opponents in the opponents the fighting controller player and health bar is missing okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all drag and drop all of the players so fighting controller of Eddie, Oreg and King and also the transform as well so make sure that you add all of them like this and then the health bar so drag and drop the opponent health bar in there that is it if you then select each of the opponent the character control animator is added in both of them already okay now if you click on player health bar and opponent health bar it is set up if you click on result UI options everything is set up if you open up the options menu then back to main menu button it is set up in the pause menu everything is set up as you can see if you select canvas in the canvas if you open up fighting controller and opponent AI as you can see they are also missing so in the canvas let's drag and drop the fighting controller of each of the player one by one oops okay drag and drop king in there then the opponents drag and drop each of your opponent script one by one okay and when you do that then your stage two is ready as well okay now we can do the same on stage 3 or you can say map th map 3 so here it is this is the map 3 what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on prefabs first of all drag and drop the actually not drag and drop first of all delete the main camera then drag and drop the main camera okay so main camera is set up right there then move it up and after that drag and drop player character opponent character and canvas select main camera in all of them do the same steps now okay then select player characters it is added now select all of the three player characters add opponents and health health bar
All right. Then select your opponents and drag and drop the player fighting controllers. And then the transforms. And at the end, the health bar, opponent health bar. That's it. Then click on canvas in the canvas. Open a fighting controller and opponent AI. So add fighting controllers, then opponent. That is all you have to do on this as well. Okay, and make sure that uh, every player character and opponent character is deactivated. Okay. And as you can see, they are already set up in this position and in that position. All right, now if we start the game from the main menu, let's uh, play the game. Maximize it. Click on play. Select character. Let's select king. Click on play. Select stage. Let's select the second stage. Okay, here it is. As you can see, everything works perfectly fine. The character can't move outside the stage because we have added box colliders. Okay, let's pause the game. Main menu. Okay, click on play. Select stage. Let's select the third stage. Here it is. Okay, it works perfectly fine. Let's pause the game, resume the game. Okay, our resume button and main menu button doesn't work. So we have to check that. Click on scene, click on map 2. Open up canvas, here is our pause menu. Open up options menu in the resume. Everything is already set up. Okay, let's check the map 3. And in map 3, resume method is added. Back to main menu. Quit game, everything is set up as well. Okay but it still doesn't work and I will tell you why it doesn't work because um, if we are dealing with UI then we need to have the event system on it okay so make sure that you add event system on your map 3 and also on your map 2 because we didn't have the event system because the event system controls our inputs okay so now let's start the game back again from the main menu and now buttons will work perfectly fine there okay let's select the other character now click on play select stage select the second stage here it is pause the game go back to main menu as you can see it now works just make sure that you add even system in all of your scenes and with this completed our project is done and i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did let me know and also give us a five star review it will be really appreciated so with this done see you guys in some other project